Myth, you cannot get an MRI if you have a pacemaker. Fact, today, it's more complex. For many, that myth is now false. The real answer, it depends. It depends on the device inside your chest. It depends on the expertise of the medical team. It depends on the reason you need the scan. For years, no MRI for pacemaker patients. But medicine doesn't stand still. Technology moves forward. The rules change. It's no longer a simple yes or no. The question is, is it safe for me? We're going to answer that. This requires your full attention. The information is urgent. The stakes are high. But the tone is calm. We'll break down the science into clear facts. Think of this as a briefing, a guide for a critical decision. Many people with pacemakers will one day need an MRI brain, spine, joints. Knowing the facts empowers you to work with your doctors, replace fear with facts, confusion with clarity. First, the machine itself. What is an MRI? Magnetic resonance imaging, one of medicine's most powerful diagnostic tools. Unlike CT or X-ray, MRI uses no ionizing radiation. It uses a strong magnetic field and radio waves, thousands of times stronger than a fridge magnet. It aligns water molecules, countless tiny compass needles. RF pulses nudge them, then they snap back, releasing faint signals. Computers convert those signals into cross-sectional images, like slices of bread, crystal clear soft tissue, brain, muscles, ligaments, organs. Field strength matters, measured in Tesla. Most clinical MRIs are 1.5T or 3.0T. Earth's field is just 0.005T. That power makes MRI effective, and raises implant safety concerns. The magnet is always on, strict room rules apply, metal and magnetic items are removed to prevent hazards. MRI pinpoints tumors, torn ligaments, heart damage, MS, spinal injuries. Invaluable soft tissue detail, without radiation, but complicated by heart devices. A pacemaker is a small, battery-powered computer, implanted in the chest. Thin insulated wires, leads, connect to the heart to monitor rhythm. If beats are slow or skipped, it delivers tiny electrical signals to keep rhythm. A safety net so oxygen keeps flowing to brain and body. Older devices weren't built for MRI. Risks were significant. Physical forces could move devices or dislodge leads. Magnetic and RF fields could scramble electronics or stop pacing. Leads can act like antennas, heating and damaging heart tissue. Programming could be erased, requiring urgent reprogramming. MRI was a strict contraindication. Millions were denied essential scans. Doctors used CT and other tests. Radiation, less soft tissue detail. Definitive diagnoses were missed. The challenge pushed innovation. A new era, MRI conditional devices. Manufacturers redesigned pacemakers and leads from the ground up for MRI. Conditional means safe only if strict rules are followed, proven safe under defined conditions, magnet strength, RF limits, scan regions, less ferromagnetic material, alternative materials reduce pull. Internal shielding protects sensitive electronics. Software adds MRI mode to ignore interference and pace steadily. Lead design minimizes antenna effects and heating. Rigorous testing defines exact safe conditions. By 2025, most new implants are MRI conditional. With coordination and expertise, MRI becomes routine. The risk-benefit equation has fundamentally shifted. The decision is team-based, not one person. Cardiologist, radiologist, MRI technologist, and often a device representative. It starts with the ordering doctor communicating urgency. First, identify exact make, model, and leads. No guessing. Check the device card or records. Use chest x-ray, if needed. Then confirm MRI conditional status and read the manual, the scan's rulebook. If justified, build a plan. Program MRI mode just before the scan. During the scan, continuous vitals, radiologist, ready to intervene. After, immediately recheck and restore settings, confirm battery, lead function, all parameters. Meticulous teamwork turns a risky procedure into a routine, safe one. Anna, 68, pacemaker from 2020, had dizzy spells, brain MRI recommended. She carried her device ID card, MRI conditional confirmed, programmed MRI mode, smooth scan, immediate post-scan check, MRI clear. Her team searched for other causes confidently. Mark, 55, pacemaker from 2005, lost his card. X-ray couldn't confirm model or leads. Unknown legacy device, risk too high for elective MRI. They chose a CT myelogram, less detail than MRI, 
but enough to guide safe treatment. Luis, 72, early MRI conditional device, suspected spinal infection, time critical, stricter conditions followed exactly, continuous monitoring, cardiology on standby. MRI confirmed the diagnosis, surgery proceeded, and he fully recovered. Benefit, outweighed, managed risk. Three stories, one lesson. The right information and team transform outcomes. So, can you get an MRI with a pacemaker? In 2025, often yes, conditionally. It depends on your device, your team's expertise, and strict protocols. The era of the absolute no is ending for many patients. Be an informed partner, manage fear with preparation. Carry your device ID card, photograph it, share it. Always inform every provider you have an implanted device. When MRI is proposed, show your card first. Ask, is my device MRI conditional? What steps before, during, after? Who's on the team? Risk versus benefit is always weighed. Know the facts, stay calm. Work with your team to get the care you need.